What is your relationship like now with Justin? I support him. I, I think I always will. Uh, I what comes to your mind when you hear the phrase, the most toxic couple of Hollywood? Well, there are some, but the most obvious one is, of course, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. These two were on and off for almost a decade, but finally broke up in 2018. And two months later after the breakup, Justin Bieber got married to Haley Baldwin. But through the 10 on and off years, Justin was a third wheel every time Selena seemed to move on and start a new life with someone else. Every time Justin appeared, he ruined everything like a tsunami, got Selena back, and the whole cycle repeated many, many times. This is the Glamorous Channel. So let's talk about Justin Bieber and the way he shaded every Selena Gomez boyfriend. Let's check all the facts. Stay tuned to know all the details. Let's start with the recent one, The Weeknd. Selena and The Weeknd broke the internet after they were spotted kissing next to some literal dumpsters in Santa Monica. The couple spent the next few months traveling to Italy, making out on a yacht, and finally went Instagram official right in time for Coachella in April 2017. It seemed like these two were super happy together and that Selena had finally moved on from that toxic relationship with Justin Bieber. The Weeknd was the one who supported Selena when she had her kidney transplant in September 2017. But despite reports from people that The Weeknd was one of her biggest supports, they split up the next month. A source told People, she and Abel have been going back and forth for a few months about their relationship. It's been hard with him being on tour and her shooting in New York. That wasn't easy on them, said the source. They also added, it's been hard for them to come to the realization that this is the direction things were heading, but it's been hard for months. But what was the real reason for their split? Um, none other than Justin Bieber. Because only a month after Selena called it quits with Abel, she was spotted attending a church with Justin and getting breakfast together. When Abel and Selena broke up, it really hurt Abel, so in 2018, he released My Dear Melancholy, which was partly about Selena and their breakup. But when did Justin come into play? It all started to go downhill when Abel collaborated with Nave and the song featured Abel's relationship with Selena, obviously it was her, and unnamed guy, who's supposed to be Justin, and the song is about how Abel was a better boyfriend than Justin. And here's the line. Haters gonna say this sh is whack. And shortly after this song was released, TMZ caught Justin leaving a club when the weekend came on. So they asked, Can you listen to a weekend song? And Justin replied, That sh is whack. Okay, let's move on and talk about a really unusual Selena romance, a romance with Orlando Bloom. Well, at the time, she was only 22, while he was 37. Selena broke up with Justin, and Orlando broke up with his then-wife, Miranda Kerr. But it's not really clear if these two are actually romantically involved, because many outlets reported that in 2014, Selena and Orlando hooked up to make Miranda Kerr and the Beebs jealous after they allegedly flirted at the Victoria's Secret Factory show. Both Selena and Alf Bay Orlando denied their romance after being seen chilling outside of a Chelsea Handler show, but what happened next really shocked everyone. A bit later, Orlando and Biebs crossed paths in Ibiza and had a huge fight, so these two were separated from security multiple times. The situation became so heated that Orlando punched Justin. Just take a look at this. This was just after the rumors came out that Justin hooked up with Miranda, but it didn't end there. Right after the fight, Justin posted and deleted a photo of Miranda Kerr looking all kinds of fire on Instagram. You cannot make this stuff up. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. If you want to know even more crazy info about your favorite celebs, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.